How's it going guys? It's Noz here playing some more Kerbal Space Program. Welcome back. And today we're going to do something a little bit different. Oh, what's this? Check for updates. Uh, okay, number. Yeah, oh. oh, right, okay. Um, so, yeah, there we go. Last episode we landed on the moon. And, um, yesterday, on the day of recording this, I was meant to record this yesterday, but... I had a really bad headache, so I didn't. But, um, on the day of recording this, yesterday, October the 4th, 2013, was, I believe, the 63rd, 63 years ago yesterday, um, Sergei Korolev launched Sputnik 1, which was the first ever satellite in space. Now, pardon me, I thought, I might as well do a bit of a tribute to it. So, due to the great success of Sergei Koryalov in the space race, and this is named Stay Putnik. And now, interestingly, Stay Putnik was, um, I believe, and correct me if I'm wrong, or don't have a go at me if I'm wrong, but I believe, this is only what I believe, that uh, Stay Putnik was a um, newspaper headline for one of these satellites that America launched and failed. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that's what happened. So yes, toggle. So it was a very basic satellite. It, it, this what what it is now is literally all it was. What I'm showing you here is all. Oh Jesus Christ! That's a big fairing. I think that's a bit too big fairing. Uh, are they all the same size? Because I think that's a bit OTT, if you know what I mean. And he doesn't even have a nose cone. I think that's a bit OTT, don't you? Okay, so uh, anyway, we'll use this one because I've never used these bearings before. Uh. Uh Okay, no mind. Um right, okay, we're gonna do our best wait, what was that? Oh right, it's one of those. Okay, so um we want an ASAS unit. Uh, I'm gonna use KW Rocketry for this. Now I believe stay put Nick did a full orbit so I am going to try and get this into orbit but it came down after two months so oh, sorry guys just moved my phone away from the mic now the R7 oh Jesus Christ that was big used I haven't got an accurate re representation of the R7 so Jesus Christ. Um, oh dear God. They, what makes these engines so big? Why? And then we have these. Holy crap. They are big. They are big mother truckers. Which is exactly. And these are exactly what the R7 had I think. Are these modelled on the R7? I'm not sure. Right, we're going to use my own launch stage, I think. Uh, do you know what? I am going to put a tiny retro burner on that. A very, very tiny retro burner. One. Just so we can deorbit this thing. When I can find the engines, there it is. Oh wow, I need 
need a decoupler well separate all prefer separators you're okay that you've fed the space junk but you're alright and then we need some radial decouplers here here and here If only I could speak a bit of Russian. I am meant to be doing it at school soon, but if only I could speak a bit of Russian, I could have like done this Russian style. Open Russian style. Okay. Uh, let's put the launch clamps on. Now, Russia, I do believe, launched their rockets from Kazakhstan, but we, we can't... I could tr use the mobile launch pads mod and launch it from, say, KSC2. I can't. Ah, oh, wow, I forgot to name it. Oh, well, we can rename it when it's in space. We could have launched from there and made it a bit more like that. But, you know. <laughs> Excuse me, that was very unprofessional of me. Uh, right, okay. Let's do this. Focus untitled spacecraft. Okay, that resembles nothing of an R7. Soyuz, but uh, let's do this anyway. For the lols. Well, not for the lols, for the tribute. Yes, we have liftoff. Oh, this looks so much better on my big screen. Playing KSP on the big screen. So much better. Especially when we're only at 8 frames per second. No, 9, but shush. I hope this doesn't look too bad. Um, okay. <laughs> we pr I think the boosters are producing most of the thrust at the minute. See, I just want to... Hopefully the boosters will carry us into the bit of the atmosphere that's slightly lighter blue on the... where you can see it. I hope you can see my mouse cursor. You can see it there. You should be able to see my mouse cursor. If you can't, then... Uh, no, never mind, but yeah, hopefully. Okay, I'm going to begin my uh, gravitational turn now. Yeah, we're into the thinner part of the atmosphere now. A thinner part of the atmosphere. It's not as thin as where I'd like to be, so we'll separate and jettison the boosters. We are slowing down. Which isn't too good, but. I don't think this engine is very powerful in all fairness. There we go, we're speeding up again now. This rocket is actually quite hard to control. I'm finding it really hard. Um oh, we're, we're we're already supersonic and we're not even Yeah, here we go. We're approaching the thinnest part of the atmosphere now. And we are in orbit. So I'm going to start, I want to get an LKO, so let's go into our map view, our view of the map. We have got a slight inclination, what's our inclination to that of the equator? Equator? I think that was meant to be equator. Okay, I say you know 3.0, DC you know minus 3.0. Okay, it's, it's hard to tell at the minute. But never mind. I'm gonna, je I'm gonna cut the throttle and warp to our uh, apoapsis. Yeah, we have got a slight inclination, but that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Right, there we are at our apoapsis, which isn't actually out in the atmosphere, so I think I should have probably burned a bit more. There we go, it's out of the atmosphere now. I'm going to try and get it as equatorial as possible. Yeah. We'll wait until we're actually in orbit before we can. Yeah. Comms 1, radar alpha. Where's Ipto? How's Ipto doing? Hello, Ipto. Hello, Ipto. 
Yeah, probably should send a uh, refueling mission to that. Oh, that's going the wrong way. I haven't done this very well, have I? There we go. We are in almost an orbit. Just I want to get this orbit as round as possible. I don't want it to like be too dodgy. Yay, there's our periaps of 6,000 meters. We'll put the uh, periaps to about 70. Seventy one ninety two. If I do say some myself, that's not too bad of an orbit. Um We can hold on, MC Jobs is texting me. Hold on on I'm recording. There we go. Right, okay, so, um. So, yeah, I'll just send the fairings on their own because it looks cooler. Okay. We shall just send. Preparing for fairing jettison in T minus 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The fairings have been jettisoned. They jettison so much differently to the uh, KW rocketry ones. That's actually a lot cooler. And they slowly gap apart. Hopefully, hopefully what will happen is they will get trapped in, because they're heading right forward towards the moon, because we're pointing directly towards it. Hopefully they'll get trapped in the moon's sphere of influence. Either, either um, get pulled towards the moon by its gravity and, and like clash into the moon or they'll take a gravity assist and either go shoot out into the, the in, like beyond where ipto is in that sort of space and crash into like probably jewel or something or something stupid or they will um come back around get trapped by earth's gravity and crash into earth or they'll just remain in orbit forever so uh, now we will activate uh, comms and we will jettison the launch stage now and uh, there is Sputnik kind of one rename vessel Sputnik I think that's how it's spelled one tribute Okay. We'll point it pro grade. We'll take it onto the light side of Kevin. Look at that. Just look at that. Look at that beauty. It's lovely. Are those the fairings? Oh, okay, so they won't go to the moon then? Uh, damn. Never mind. Okay, so we are hopefully transmitting. Ah, it's casually glitched out on me again. Um, okay, we're going to have to do this. So there we are, Sputnik 1 Tribute person is in orbit around Kerbin. Oh pardon me. And uh shall I do some uh, communications stuff. Right, if we can control it now, if hopefully it hasn't bugged, we shall deorbit it. 
If not, then we'll just leave it up there as a constant reminder of that. I don't know what to do next episode. I'm kind of waiting for... Uh, see that? It's still glitched. No flag on the moon. No flag on the moon. Sputnik one fly. Yes, I don't. I'm really anxious for point twenty one. Point twenty two. It looks so good. Um, that's when we'll kick off. Uh, we'll start doing full research and stuff, and then obviously when career mode comes out, we shall do a uh, career mode series and stuff. And after I've recorded this, I'm going to off to record some Feed the Beast. And it's still glitched. Okay, we'll just leave it in orbit for now. Just travelling around Kerbin at a very fast speed. Could deorbit it right, right now, but. And it goes to the dark section over the mountains. Oh, when will it go over KSC? I think it's coming up over KSC now. Now, if you look down, you can't really see it all that well. But there's KSC, I think. If you can see my mouse cursor, that is KS, the Kerbal Space Center. Still can't move it. Alright, thanks for watching guys, this has been Nolzy, please like, rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you.